I found 15 easy remote jobs that you can do at night. And nighttime related jobs tend to be easier to land than jobs that you would do during the day because less people want to do them. But if you're a night owl and you like oh, working yeah. at night, these could be perfect for you. And I can almost guarantee you that most of these you have never heard of. So if you appreciate me doing all this hard work to get this content out for you, go ahead and gently tap that like button. And let's jump into it right now with number one on the list, which is going to be movie recap script writer. Have you ever wondered how those movie summaries that save you time and intrigue your curiosity are made? Well, meet the movie recap script writer. They distill movies and TV shows into bite-sized summaries, providing a short chronological summary of a two hour movie in a matter of minutes. And one way you can make money doing this is being a script writer for a YouTube channel that does these summaries. So for example, here is a post online. They're hiring a movie recap script writer for a YouTube channel and they pay 35 to $65 an hour. And they even mention that they're willing to pay higher rates for the most experienced freelancers. So yeah, this as well as other types of script writing opportunities can be great for you. I'm going to go ahead and give this an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And honestly, YouTube is my favorite way of making money. I honestly think it's the easiest way to make money online. And if you're interested in how to start a YouTube channel, or if you already have a YouTube channel and you want to grow it faster or monetize it better, I actually do coach people on how to do this. I've gotten lots of different people to over six figures a month, and I make over six figures a month myself on YouTube. So if you're interested in doing that and you're serious about YouTube because we only work with people who are serious about it, go ahead and check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a helpline coordinator. And this is basically a position where you intervene through calls whenever someone's feeling like they want to hurt themselves. And there are many companies that hire for these types of positions. And this company, for instance, starts at about $24 per hour. And as you can imagine, this is of course a position where there's gonna be a lot of opportunities opportunities in the middle of the night. Now, this is an incredibly important position because unfortunately, this is one of the top nine leading causes for death among the ages of 10 to 64. And it's the second leading cause for death in between the ages of 10 to 14 and 20 to 34, which is really sad if you think about it. So like I said, there's a lot of different companies that hire for this. Here's another one where they pay about $58,000 a year. This is an extremely mentally taxing job because you're going to be talking to people who are in a terrible situation. However, if you're passionate about helping people, then it can be a great opportunity for you. And of course, there's going to be a lot of opportunities at night. And it typically does not require a college degree or previous experience to land these types of jobs. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8 out of 10. Next on the list is going to be tutors. Now, you're probably thinking, Shane... The only people who make money with tutoring are people who are good at math or maybe people who are good at hard sciences. Well, I decided to choose one specifically, which is private poetry tutor, just to show you that that's not necessarily true. But of course, you can get opportunities in all different types of tutoring. And your job in this situation is to get students how to understand, appreciate, read, and write poetry. And a specific company that hires for this type of tutor is going to be LessonPal. And LessonPal tutors typically make $39,000 to $62,000 a year. So the big point here is being a tutor can be incredibly lucrative and you get to teach people things that you're either passionate about, good at, or both. I personally made a bunch of money tutoring when I was going to school and it was a great experience. I had a good time and I made a ton of money. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote front desk associate. Now you might be thinking, Shane, how in the world can you work at a front desk and also be remote at the same time? Well, a lot of the time front desks may get too many calls and so what they'll do is they'll actually just forward it to someone working remote. And then they'll screen the call, see if it needs to actually go to the front desk. And in many cases, they can just take care of it themselves. And this is especially true for jobs in the middle of the night. Now, front desk associates typically make about $34,000 to $49,000 a year. Now, the truth is, this is not a job that you probably want to do for the rest of your life, but it can be a good way to get your foot in the door with a remote job. So for that reason, I'll go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment on this video about any of these jobs that you like or any other jobs that you want me to cover and there's a good chance in the future that I'll cover them even more. Next is going to be a card customer service advisor and these are the unsung heroes of credit card or banking assistance. So you're basically going to be answering customer inquiries, providing banking solutions, and ensuring that people have a smooth experience with their credit or debit cards. So what sets this job apart is you have to have a combination of financial knowledge as well as customer service skills. And that's why 
why these types of positions tend to make a little bit better money than just customer service alone. In fact, you can expect to make between 51 and $82,000 a year. And there are many opportunities for remote jobs and many opportunities for remote jobs at night. So this is another really good one. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an SEO associate. Now SEO stands for search engine optimization. And this is basically the secret sauce behind all of those top ranking websites. You know, those websites that almost always show up at the top of Google whenever you search something. And they do this by optimizing content, enhancing keywords, and strategizing digital success in various different industries. And a lot of the time SEO associates are going to get hired in industries such as e-commerce, business, startups, corporations, content publishers, web development agencies, and small businesses. And an interesting fact is 68% of all online experiences begin with a search engine. So as you can see, SEO is incredibly important. And SEO associates make 45 to $74,000 a year. Now, SEO is a type of digital marketing. And digital marketing is the most popular and best type of marketing in the modern day because you can actually track it. Think about it. It's very hard to track how many sales you get from a banner ad or a TV ad or a radio ad. However, with digital marketing, you can track exactly how much money you make from these different types of ads. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get into digital marketing. For instance, Orlando was an actor in Los Angeles and he was able to quickly land a high paying digital marketing job that was remote, flexible and allowed him to pursue his passion of acting. And if you're curious how he was able to quickly land this job, he was actually able to do it through my friend Seth, who's helped thousands of people get into digital marketing. And Seth does have a free masterclass, which explains everything you would possibly want to know about digital marketing and whether it's right for you. And I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So go ahead and click that if you're interested. But yeah, SEO associate is amazing. Lots of different digital marketing careers are awesome. I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a customer care specialist. And this is a person who's responsible for addressing customer inquiries. And they're also going to resolve issues and provide assistance, all to ensure a positive customer experience with a company's products or services. And customer care specialists make $37,000 to $53,000 a year. Now, I get it. This is not going to be the sexiest job out there. You're going to have to deal with Karens. But with that being said, this is still one of the easiest remote jobs to land. There's still literally millions of different customer service jobs available. And there's a a ton of them available at night. So is this something you're going to do for the rest of your life? Of course not. But is it something that you can quickly land a remote job at night with? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be tier one tech support. Now this may also be referred to as first line support. And you're basically responsible for providing initial customer assistance and resolving basic technical issues. And you serve as the first point of contact to customers that are experiencing technical difficulties. So there's lots of different companies companies that hire for this type of position, just to mention a few internet service providers, telecommunications companies, and customer support outsourcing agencies. And first line support makes 42 to $72,000 a year. And you might notice that that's much higher than a customer service representative. And the reason for that is because you do have to have a little bit of technical skill. You have to be relatively good with technology. But does this career require a college degree? Absolutely not. Does this career require previous experience? Usually not. And by the way, sometimes I get comments down below about certain careers where they'll look up, you know, technical support, for instance, and they'll say, oh, the company does want previous experience. I can tell you for these types of roles, after helping hundreds of people get into them, even if it says it requires experience, just apply anyways. Usually it is a preference. It's not something that they need. I see. I get it now. And at the end of the day, all they really care about is that you have the skills necessary to do the job. And on top of that, this is a great job to get into if you want to get into higher level jobs in the technology industry later on down the line. Now, by the way, if you think of somebody else who could get value from a video like this, maybe it's a friend, a family member, or just someone who needs to get a job, go ahead and send this video to them, share it with them. I actually get messages all the time from people saying that they shared this with their cousin or their nephew, and then they were able to get a job later on. So yeah, tier one tech support is great. I'm going to give this a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an intake specialist. Now, this is a position where you could work in a bunch of different types of industries. The most common ones are going to be medical, legal, social service agencies, and educational institutions. And you're basically responsible for intaking calls from customers, and you're usually the first person that that customer talks to in your company. And your job is to make the patient feel welcome, comfortable, and initiate a positive first experience with the company. And you're basically going to be taking down their information, seeing if your products or services fit 
fit with them? And if so, you're going to be directing them to the right person. And intake specialists make about forty-one to fifty-seven thousand dollars a year. This is another one of those careers that does not require a college degree or previous experience. In most cases, it's relatively easy to get into, and it's even easier to get into if you try to get into a nighttime role. So it's another pretty good one. I'll give this a seven point five out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be an appointment setter. Now, appointment setters play a vital role in the sales process of a company, and they're basically responsible for scheduling and arranging meetings. And these meetings would be between potential clients and sales representatives. And there's many different industries that use appointment setters. Just to mention a few, real estate, insurance, financial services, and marketing firms. Now, there's also many different types of appointment setters. Some of them are going to be outbound appointment setters. If you do that by phone, that would be known as a cold caller. Many of them are going to be inbound appointment setters where you basically wait for someone to call or message you. Some of them only message with people. So for instance, there's appointment setters on Instagram that literally just message with people. They never talk to anybody on the phone. And then some of them are going to be more integrated into the sales process. And appointment setters typically make between forty-five and $70,000 a year. And there are certain types of appointment setters that can make much more than that. So this is another really good one. It's also a great way to kind of dip your toe in the sales industry without jumping in head first. And then there are higher level sales jobs that you can eventually move into that can pay much, much higher than this. So I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score because there's a lot more opportunities down the line. By the way, if you haven't done it already, what are you thinking? Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I think only about 20% of people who watch the channel regularly are subscribed. So stop lurking, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and you'll never miss out on the content that I'm about to drop because it's going to be awesome. Next is going to be a social media community manager. And this is basically a position where you represent a brand. And you do that by engaging with the brand's online audience, responding to concerns, and in some ways being the voice of the brand. And social media community managers make fifty-four to $85,000 a year. And the great thing about this job is it's relatively easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. And it's actually easier to get into it if you're young. And the reason for that is pretty obvious. If you're young, you're going to be more familiar with social media. So this is another really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a legal assistant. And this is someone who provides administrative support to legal professionals. And this might include drafting documents, conducting research, and managing client communications. And there are many different organizations that hire for these types of positions. Some of them include law firms, corporate legal departments, government agencies, and legal outsourcing firms. And legal assistants make forty-three dollars to $63,000 a year. Now, some law firms are going to require you to get an associate's in paralegal studies. Many of them don't, though, and you can just get into it without a college degree. Some of them also require you to have experience, and some of them will train you. So overall, this one's a little bit harder to get into, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote hotel reservationist. And this is someone who's responsible for booking hotel accommodations over the phone with guests. They may also help people online through chat, assist with inquiries, and overall just do whatever they can to ensure a smooth booking process. And there's various different types of companies that hire for these types of roles. And these include hotels, resorts, travel agencies, and online booking platforms. So this is basically a combination of customer service skills with some knowledge when it comes to the travel and hotel industry. In this position, you'd make about thirty-five dollars to $53,000 a year. So this is another pretty decent one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a telephone interviewer. And this is somebody who conducts online interviews or online surveys in order to get people's opinions opinions and gather data. And you could be hired by various different types of companies like market research firms, polling organizations, customer feedback agencies, and even government agencies. And telephone interviewers make $33,000 to $47,000 a year. Now, this is not the highest paying job ever. It's probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but it can be relatively easy to land this job. Doesn't require a college degree or previous experience usually. So yeah, pretty decent one. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a donor coordinator. This is someone who's responsible responsible for managing and coordinating organ and tissue donation. And this involves communicating with the organ donor, the organ recipient, the hospital, and the transplant center. And in this position, you make about forty-three dollars to $62,000 a year. Now with this role, a bachelor's degree is often required, but it sometimes doesn't matter what type of bachelor degree it is. And in addition, they also prefer people who have previous experience. You're also going to need some training, but typically the company or hospital is going to be able to train you. So yeah, this one is pretty good. It's it's also harder to get into though. So for that reason, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't seen it already, I did have a video that went viral.
viral because people loved it so much. And that was the seven remote jobs that are always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.